to step into the next generation of movies? Well, here we are. Welcome to the IMAX. This is a special episode of Joe Keem's Movie of the Week. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Joe Kim's Movie of the Week as we talk about the IMAX technology. Now, the IMAX technology has actually been around since 1994 when a couple of Canadian uh, filmmakers decided to make up the technology that we know of today as IMAX using specific uh, camera lenses and projectors and a big projector to enhance the screen and the sound that you hear from your favorite action movies. Now within the last decade there have been some really really great films that have been converted to IMAX films such as this week's film Pacific Rim, this past month's Man of Steel, along with many other films including Jack the Giant Slayer, Star Trek Into Darkness, Oz the Great and Powerful, John Carter, Tron Legacy, the re-release of Titanic, and many others. Now, there's a difference between watching the film in IMAX and watching it in a regular 35mm film, or theater, for instance. So, here's the conversion. See the difference? The IMAX film is a lot bigger, it's 70 millimeters long, and it would fit the entire screen of the IMAX. Now in this picture you get a chance to see what the actual IMAX projector looks like. It's bigger than a normal projector for instance and in my time working at a movie theater I've realized that yes there's a huge difference between looking at the different projectors in the theater as well as looking at the very own IMAX projector itself it is massive it is big enough that way you can actually project the 70 millimeter film and show it on the big screen within the last decade I've noticed the sudden increase in prices of IMAX films but depending on where you go whether it's the AMC or Regal theaters you better check ahead of time to see how much the tickets go for because typically prices are within the ten dollar to almost twenty dollar range depending on where you go at the movie theater by me Randall 15 IMAX they sell their tickets for at least $15 if you're seeing it in a regular 2D IMAX film. Now, when it comes to 3D, however, it's a dollar more. In this short snippet, I got a chance to walk you guys inside what my local IMAX looks like. It's different from other IMAX theaters, for sure, because some theaters really don't have the capability of putting up a projector that high. That way they decided to do some non-stadium seating but still try to project a big IMAX screen just like the one that you see right here. So on my take on the IMAX it is the perfect technology for any action film or anything that you want to be a part of the film. Now depending on whether you want to shell out that much money depending on where you go or what movie you want to see it's a definite must now you have to check ahead of time whether it's actually the reviews are of the film in the IMAX is good this past film that I reviewed Pacific Rim was perfect because not only was it enough to fit the big screen but it was also projected in 3D now the 3D was very lifelike it felt like you were in the middle of it all and it felt like you were following our heroes uh, in the in the entire movie and it's just awestruck it is beautiful it is digitally enhanced and soundproof making you feel like you could be in the middle of a battlefield but that's just my intake however you want to take it 
is your decision. Well, it's all the time we have for this special episode of Joe Keem's Movie of the Week. I really hope that this gave you incentive to try out the IMAX once again, because there are plenty of films that have been converted into the IMAX style. That way, you can actually feel like you're in the middle of something instead of just rocking around in a chair like in the D-Box. But, as always, there's plenty of more films to come, and for more on that, you can go on the IMAX website at IMAX.com and keep up with all the information on Facebook and Twitter. That way you can see if there are any giveaways at the IMAX because there are definitely more to come when it comes to the IMAX. But next week on Joe Kim's Movie of the Week, we got my review of Red 2 as part of the Comic-Con extravaganza weekend on Joe Nevy Productions and on Crave TV. So keep uh, keep watch on that. Stay tuned because I got a lot to talk about with Comic-Con. So with that, I'm Joe Keem Jackson. Thanks for watching and enjoy the movies and the IMAX this weekend. <laughs>